Hi, this is Dale O'Shields, pastor of Church of the Redeemer. Thanks so much for joining me today for our devotional time. And this week we're talking about peace, how to have peace in your life. As we talked about yesterday, to have peace in your life, it starts with a relationship with God, inviting Christ in your life. We talked about Romans chapter 5, 1 and 2, and the powerful verses that are there that I hope that you're still thinking about. But I want to add one more thing to this today that I want to encourage you to think about as well. So often we, we consider God, many people do in fact, think of God as sort of a cosmic killjoy up in heaven, sort of a grumpy old man trying to rob us of any fulfillment in life. And nothing could be further from the truth. Actually, God in his character and nature and through his word actually provides us principles and precepts and commands to live by so that we can actually experience peace. In fact, the psalmist writes about this in Psalm chapter 119, verse 165. I'm going to read from the Passion Translation. I love this, this statement. The psalmist writes and says, There is such a great peace and well-being that comes to the lovers of your word, and they will never be offended. Notice that statement. There is such great peace and well-being that comes to a certain group of people. Those, that group is the lovers of God's word. When you and I love God's Word, when we are in love with the Word of God, and we prove that we love it by seeking to live by it and obey it and let it become a part of our lives, then what happens is we're actually opening our lives not to someone who's trying to restrict us. Not God's not trying to restrict your life. He's trying to expand your life in a positive way, but He's giving you the boundaries and the guidelines for which you can live life effectively and live life, life most joyously and peacefully. So remember this, God's word is designed to give you peace. When you obey it and you live according to it, peace will be your portion. Let's make a decision today to love God's word and to live by it.